Welcome back to my special LP slash bitching about Sword of the Stars 2. It's mostly just a straight LP now, guys. We got some big events going on. Next turn, two main wings of our fleet will rendezvous in the Lucis system. Wipe out everything there. And I was looking over things before I started the recording, and I just realized... I already noticed this, but the Zul actually have a climate hazard that is very similar to us. That means that Zul worlds, well, you know, if we moved in there, it wouldn't be so hard to adapt. Yeah. I kind of like that. So we're going to whip up some colonizer destroyers, specifically for such a task. Construction order placed, Commander. And we're going to rally these Stormer Mark 3s and 2s we got. Pretty good ships. Pretty fucking fast, too. I mean, once our fleets get comprised mostly of the faster ships, then it really starts to make a big difference here. We could attack midway. Let's keep them here for now, just on defense. The Mornigi are expanding a little bit in the directions that I want them to expand in. I'm pretty happy about that. And these guys, uh, these cruisers can probably go ahead and not have any fuel. Okay, you guys can transit to Zhongzhen. Drives to full. And that'll be fun. You know, there we go. You two can stay back and pick at this system to make sure the enemy doesn't come back. Okay. And you know what? Investing in trade is going so well that I think I want to keep doing it forever. And ever. I think that'll be good. Um, yeah, we need more freighters. We also need to work all of our trade routes, too. That'll be good. Alright, we'll even go into debt building freighters. Trust me, it makes a lot of economic sense, eventually. Tiermans. Azar could start working a trade route, but... You know, I'd rather just have them on defenses. I want Moo Booties to make me money. Alright. Make sure you're always working all your trade routes. It's interesting to me that trade income actually goes down. I wonder what would be the cause of that. Oh, I'm sure I did something horribly wrong. Don't worry about it. Uh, the other wing of our attack, such as it is, is uh, kind of stalled. This was sort of an understrength fleet for the task. And the Frontier Alliance has... 51 ships in that system and additional fleets inbound so we're just gonna let them sit over there if that's what they wanna do we're just gonna try to hold this gate at Solaris and I guess that's it oh yes and it's also time for design we want F node antimatter which produce the most ex expensive goddamn ships you've ever seen in your life. Oh, but they're so good. And let's build ourselves a warship based on these principles, shall we? Ah, this is just a destroyer, so I don't... You get a second medium mount on antimatter destroyers, though, which is pretty cool. And I'll keep them on emitters, I suppose. You know what, no, screw that. We're into the age of the cruiser. And frankly, we're coming up on the age of the dreadnought pretty soon. So it's good to keep that in mind. We can update our generalist design. Incorporate a second particle beam. Some more missiles. Pretty badass stuff. Design entered into naval archives. 
Especially our warships need F node antimatter. Capital N. Uh, just make them all missiles, I suppose. That'll be cool. Yes, sir. Ship design ready for construction. Uh, we need our tender ships to be able to keep up with the fleet. So again, I'm gonna equip everybody. Design entered with into naval stuff. archives because it's important. You know what? Yeah, I like this configuration. Yes, sir. Ship design ready for construction. Really heavy in the back. Oh well. Maybe we'll produce them from Moo Booties for maximum irony. You just want missiles. Design entered into naval archives. Okay, and I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So we don't really have impressive weapons tech yet. Kind of waiting for impact or tech. That'll be cool. This fight is um, not very interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Well, you know, we should probably direct the fight just to. Oh, it's one destroyer. It can't even. The tankers could kill it alone without any help. And meanwhile, at Lucis, we've got fleets converging from both sides. The only question is who do we want to lead the strike? I think. We'll give it to Alpha Fleet 5. Yeah. Man, they're so dead. Let's get to it. This is my favorite kind of work. New ships ready for battle. We got a pretty damn nice outnumbering bonus. Even if. Um, there are some ships here that shouldn't be. Can we order them to break off to the back line? Yeah. We can order the support ships to retreat in you know, a little while. Yeah, things are bound to get a little messy, I suppose. So, uh, the Zool are pretty good. Refinery ships here is such a friggin' insane thing to do. We'll just fire whatever leftover guns we have. You know, if the enemy wants to run away, or whatever. I'm kind of okay with that. The main goal is the planet, everybody. I want everyone on Lucis dead in a minute. I was sure you could tell human ships to break off to the back line. I'm still kind of cool with those results, though. I gotta admit. 
We didn't really take any casualties. That's good. Okay, let's combine you guys into the biggest Whew. fucking mega okay. fleet. Try and be more careful out there, though. And let's organize you competently. Do we have any Mark Threes? No, it looks like we don't. That's fine. That's that's fine. Oh, that's so good. Enemy missiles always try to attack the strike force C and C, but it, it doesn't really work. Okay, and we're gonna sort our reinforcements. Oh, about like this. There we. That's not bad. Okay, now this fleet is good. We're gonna leave you there and uh, oh, looks like we wiped everyone out. Oh, it must have been a last second deal. In any case, now we can proceed on to their home world. Fleet moving out. Their new home world, that is. <laughs> uh, well, or we could transit over here. We haven't really attacked the enemy over in this direction. Now let's do it. Navigation set course. Destroy fresh uncharted lands of the enemy. How about you tankers? Oh, when he got hurt, yeah. That can happen sometimes. We didn't even see them coming, which suggests that the enemy is getting faster. I'm not a fan of that. The defenses are coming along pretty good. You know, we could use all those tankers on this fleet right here, and these colonizers too. Yeah. Engines to power, aye. Could go get some of those Zul planets. That's a that's a pretty dangerous policy I'm pursuing. Could be fun though. Um. Okay. Trade. We'll keep building freighters then I suppose where is the place yeah Tirna so you could probably not ever build a freighter it's because you're using most of your industrial outputs well you know if you're only staffing one trade route anyway Then go ahead and spend as much of your effort as possible on that. And the home world. I'm sure there's something you can work on that's good. Give me a pair of antimatter stormers. Shipyards getting up. You kinda hit up hard against the money limit, everybody. I'm fine with that. Shit, we could always beg off our friends. Although it looks like the Hivers are spending a lot of money. And they're all on cruiser fusion, so, yeah. I guess we're okay. Things are getting really messy down here. System update. I'm kinda cool with that, though. They might see us coming, but they're pretty screwed. I'm hoping there's no lines connecting somewhere else, like here. Then maybe we will go bug the Frontier Alliance a little bit. Maybe hit them in the back. Uh, sounds like a plan to me. Yes, sir. Fleet on heading out. All right, boys. Go ahead and transit. The Zul are still trying to pick at all their planets, so we'll need to get past them. Whatever, at least I've got a plan in place. Aye, sir. They can make the transit to Wazen in two friggin' turns. Now we are really getting insane here. Now you're playing with power. Shipyards getting up.
Hey Hydra. So this time things are gonna go a little bit different. Only a little bit though, we're still gonna wipe everyone out. And the Frontier Alliance has a fucking holy shit amount of stuff here. That's actually kind of concerning because everybody uses the same node lines. Which means there are only a couple node jumps from this planet that is woefully unprepared to meet such an enemy charge. Great. Anyway. Now, a numbering bonus will actually help us this time. And just... Lock in your course, mental gym. I wish we could kill some of those missiles before they hit us. Oh, well. Kill the boarding pods. In fact, kill everything this will have. No, really, I want you to kill him. Fucking hate this fool, man. Okay. Good work, boys. but it needs to die. Like all Zul. Maybe I'm gonna increase the combat turn length. God damn it. They took one of our cruisers. There's only one thing to do for him now, boys. why I hate this so fucking much. They don't even have to win a fight. I swear to god I'm swimming next time. Jesus. At least our armor's pretty good at resisting mass driver shots. Well, at least they won't get the secrets of our technology. System update. That battle made me have a sad face, everybody. We did pretty much take their fleet out, though. That's good. I hate their boarding pods so much. Well, I hate everything about the Zul so much. Repair ship deployed. I'm gonna set these guys on auto repair as well as auto refuel just so the business gets done. Definitely simming the combat. Fuck the Zool. After this, I'm probably gonna look into diplomatic tech for the Leer though. Drives to full. So that we can demit. I don't know. No. no, I'm probably gonna eradicate him. I think that would be the right thing to do, everybody. So about those trade rounds. Cool. How's everybody's morale? Fully staffing trade rounds increases morale, so you don't have to worry about effectively being penalized for not having a million in the bank. Uh, we're not happy, so we're gonna riot and burn down the whole planet. And trust me, when civil unrest gets bad in this game, it gets bad. You know what? Just fucking kill him. System update. There we go. All right. Who? 
Okay. Try and be more careful out there, Did though. Did we sustain any casualties? Oh, no, we didn't. Took some damage on our stormers. That's cool. That was a good win, everybody. This is one of those places that I want to take from the enemy. Okay, guys, tell you what. If you follow this path, you can get to Peck and be horribly sandwiched between the enemy. Aye, sir. Yeah, I like that plan. This is kind of an understrength force to do the job, but hey. Course plotted, engaging node drive. Who dares wins? Aye, Commander. We will have those ships out in no time. Man, if we built these fuckers from here, that'd be even better. Alright. Construction project initiated. There's our money. Really, our fleet capacity at this point is only limited by, uh... Well, it used to only be limited by our industrial capacity, and now it's also limited by the budget. Luckily, the budget's still looking pretty healthy. So that's cool. I didn't decide on a destination for you folks. Oh... Um, can we get a read on these defenses? Argelius is completely undefended. The Frontier Alliance, however, looks like they can put up a pretty, ste uh, pretty steep defense. So we're just gonna keep buzz sawing through the enemy, yeah. Engines to power, aye. Then we're probably just gonna withdraw back to friendlier skies. Okay, we've got to be putting the hurt on them. Just losing planets right and left. There's no way that's not affecting the enemy. That fleet is right there. I don't like... They could probably make this node transition in one... Alright, if we can do it, let's assume they can. Unless their tech is even better than ours. Whatever. Hey guys. System update. <laughs> it's a good day to be human, I gotta admit. All everybody ever needs is a repair little ship up. deployed. Repair ships are so worth investing in, and I mean they're worth investing in like a Miraculous. You know, if we can't see anything, does that mean the Frontier Alliance isn't actually defending this place? Yes, sir. Fleet on heading Alpha. Uh-uh. Enormous disaster in three, two. Aye, sir. Hey guys, I'm glad I noticed you, Zhongjin. He ain't doing much over there, I gotta admit. Course plotted, engaging no drive. Go ahead and transition all the way to Azar to join the defenses there. Can't support MDPs. Great. Uh I get to work. We will have those ships out in no time. So let's see how this turns out. This will be our first real serious encounter with the Frontier Alliance. Damn rebels. Yeah, there's nothing there. Alright, we are going to demand the surrender of the planet. And if they don't surrender, then we will simulate the battle. And then we'll all die. System update. Well... Uh, I gotta say, guys, that really was the place to surrender. If we're being honest with each other. There was almost nobody there. That didn't even take any... Well, no wonder they didn't defend it very well. I don't think I want to get into a major engagement with them, though. In fact, let's just back it off, everybody. Whew. 
Whew. Okay. Try and be more careful out there, though. Research is over budget because we're humans, and that's how humanity rolls. Arc light. Huh. I wonder what that is. No, I really don't remember, so it's really a mystery to me. No one needs more freighters? Everywhere needs more freighters. Gotta be doing some brisk business, everybody. Where is... Oh, you're up there. I really should be building freighters here, too. It's, that's like the safest place in our empire. And we can trade with aliens. It's good to do that business. We've reached this planet. Peck is pretty good. You know what? Let's grab it. Hmm. That could also be a really cool refueling station. So I'll tell you what. We're going to land three of the colonizers here. Landing area prepped for colonists. I'm going to save the other half to plant a second colony, perhaps at Lucis or something. That'll be cool. Yes, sir. Fleet on heading out. And we'll have some more help coming eventually. Construction order placed, Commander. Cool. It worries me to zip by the turn so fast, because I know I'm going to miss shit, but... You guys are dead. System update. So there we go. Is there anything at down either? No, nah, we don't have the fuel for that anymore. Repair ship deployed. Yeah. We need to get our asses in gear. We can make it to Hydra, but we can't make it to Lucis on our own. That could be a problem, everybody. Let's go back up there. We could try to go down there and find a node connection that leads up this way. I don't know. That's crazy talk, though. Navigation. Yeah, set it looks course. like we overextended our main battle fleet somewhat. Luckily, the Zul don't actually know that these two ships here are going to end up being critical, and I believe we can punch through with these stormers, leaving Peck critically vulnerable to attack from all sides. Splendid. These tankers are freshly gassed up. Any good planetary prospects over here? Th there's decent ones, but they're going to be right in the face of the Frontier Alliance. Uh, I probably should have less respect for the rebel scum, but they've got a lot of fucking ships. Engines to power, aye. I'll respect naval strength, that's for sure. Shipyards getting up. You making them cruisers, bros? Yeah, we should definitely... Okay, assuming both of those vessels are cruisers, which they're probably not. Nav okay, the Zul are pretty terrifying, but against 3 to 1 odds, we're probably going to do okay. And next turn, if that goes well, we can send the tankers there to support. Some of these node transitions are so fucking tenuous. Yes, sir. Fleet on heading alpha. You know, you're gassed up. You no, know, stay ahead, Tommy. Just for the time being, I suppose. You make me nervous over there, bros.
Tech's gonna take a while before time. Here's where terraforming tech would come in handy. Or any kind of technology. Friggin' scientists. Probably all alien sympathizers anyway. We're just passing through the wall. One damage destroyer. That's hilarious. Two damage destroyers. Well. System update. Yeah, I didn't break a sweat there. Over time and over budget. But at least we finally have this tech director. Alright. Get the colonizers and the tankers over there. And we can plant another colony. Shit, let's just do it at Lucis. I guess that makes the most sense. It's the Zul have kind of sucked the resources down a little bit, but that should be okay. Fleet We're gonna do out. kind of a shuffle here. We're gonna keep the combat power at peck. Navigation. Move these guys Set here. Course. But the tankers will all go on to Hydra. Engines to power, aye. And everything's gonna be just okay. The enemy is reinforcing, but it's all little penny packet fleets, so okay. Make me sick. Science. Alright, I'm gonna go for UV lasers now. It's one turn. This project could be the big breakthrough. It'll enhance you've been the for. entire fleet. Everybody uses small mounts at some point. Should be cool. And you guys, go ahead and move to pack. Nav comp programmed. Wonder if they were planting some of these colonies. If they are, they're still gonna be crappy. So we're still kind of doing the galaxy a favor by, you know, giving them what for. We have plenty of money to spend. We spend money to make money. Yeah. Now Seti and Mubudis both need to start working all their trade routes. Good stuff. And there went half the money. Yes, sir. Fleet on Reinforcement out. times are so small that building from the home world still probably makes a lot of sense. Construction order placed, Commander. Building here ain't bad either. Shipyards getting up. I'm no longer worried about defending Wazen as much, really. Fleet moving out. And then the Zul throw a wrench into our plans. Oh, Solaris time! Haha. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I kind of saw this coming. Uh, we're in trouble, guys. I think that what we should do is probably go down fighting. Oh, they're gonna actually be able to take Midway. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Um. Some of these other ones, it's just scouting and running out of red boys. Alright, time to go down fighting, everybody. This is a little bit of a General Custer situation for these boys. Rebel scum. Well. All ships, full pursuit. They can take our lives. Uh, reinforce with the command emitters first. Not that it matters terribly. We kind of know how this ends. May as well go down killing some of these motherfuckers. And engage some of the destroyers. Probably inflict some casualties. Oh, especially with our emitters. I hadn't thought about that. We could really do lovely things against destroyer swarms. 
Now, of course, we're all dead, but... It'll be a pretty grand death. Okay, boys. Wave one. Wave one is dead. Go ahead and regroup. No, oh, fuck that. Run. Move into access node space. A few of you can probably get away. It doesn't look like the enemy is interested in pursuing us, so we can transition to... I'm hoping Prisium is a good one. Alright. System update. Nope. Going straight towards that planet. Nothing we can do about it. All these guys, however... Well, a few of them can get back. What did the actual report on that battle? Oh, they lost 27 destroyers to three of our cruisers. That's pretty good. There's just so many of them, though. We can't hold that place. We just need to withdraw. Navigation, set course. Yeah, head back to Azar. Uh, we should be able to hold them there. Maybe. Uh, it's obvious the Stormers aren't the best at fighting destroyers, though. We need a... First of all, we need Impactors. Because Impactors are wonderful. Man... Impactors should actually be staying at range. So I'm gonna probably arm it all with missiles and... I'll put a heavy driver on too. Should be cool. <coughs> Design entered into naval archives. Actually, should be fucking awesome. The thing I was looking for though... In armor. Ha! I wonder if I could build a ship that is literally nothing but emitters. I have no clue how this experiment's gonna work. Yes, sir. Ship design ready for construction. Against bigger ships, it's gonna be pathetic, but. Huh. One or two in our formation might be able to shift the tides of the battle. We're never getting those ships. Might as well make them here. Aye, Commander. We will have those ships out in no okay, time. Cool. I'm not entirely sure what these two guys are doing. 
Yes, sir. Fleet on heading Alpha. Don't worry, guys. Tank and support will be with you shortly. In a turn, we should have refuel capacity to at least get them to Lucis. Oh, and there's still a shit ton of infrastructure there. A great day dawns. Another world for the Commonwealth. That will be sinfully useful. All right, you ten hold the fort here. You guys continue on to Lucis. Course plotted. Engaging no drive. And then I think the next place for a colony is probably their former homeworld. I think that would be a sufficiently dick move. Uh, you know, I feel I don't know. The war's not going bad. Frontier Alliance scares me a little bit, but only a little bit. Probably a good place to leave it off for now. Thanks for watching these videos. I'm actually enjoying playing Sword of the Stars again, so eh.